Good afternoon, everyone. I am Kevin Gamerly, NHCD Executive Vice President, and I'm joined today by NHCD's Volunteer President for 2023, AJ Warren with Abraham Link. AJ, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Kevin. Things are uh, going really well here in the Mid Atlantic and enjoying a little bit of summer and the, you know, kind of the, the calmness that comes with people going on vacation and holidays upcoming and really looking forward to starting to plan for the fall. Great. Well, it's mid-June, and so uh, we wanted to give an update to our members about some things going on in ANCD, and just pick your brain a little bit about what you're seeing out there uh, in the field. So just as a quick reminder, we do these uh, ANCD president updates by video to keep our members informed what's going on in the association, also to outline some calls to action of our members, and uh, have this opportunity you know, to hear from a fellow distributor what they're seeing in their markets. So on the NCD side of things, uh, we've got a number of exciting things going on. Our second cohort of the NCD Emerging Distribution Leaders Program launched in late May. This was our brand new program that uh, debuted last year, got really positive reviews. And so it's a structured education and networking uh, program that provides high potential staff members within our member firms a curriculum to enhance their leadership development. AJ, I know your firm uh, had an individual participate last year. Uh, what did you think about the program? We actually had two uh, individuals participate from our company last year. And I think that the benefit that we get as a firm is pretty multifaceted related to this because not only does do we get the benefit of the education of this person, it's also a great retention tool. It makes your employees feel like they're important to you and that you're investing in their future uh, in the organization. And we all know that it's difficult to uh, you know, hire and retain high value employees. And this is the type of thing that's uh, you know, a, a low cost, high impact thing to help re retain people that have a lot of potential in your organization. That's great. Yeah, so we've got a great cohort that's in the midst of the program right now. So I encourage member firms to learn more about the program and we'll talk a lot about it at this fall's convention. And uh, people should start thinking about uh, the individuals within their companies that would be good candidates and uh, plan to get them signed up for 2024. Yeah. Another item I want to uh, remind everyone is two weeks ago, we held our first virtual mid-year economic update with one of our good friends, Connor Lokar at ITR Economics. It was a great session that gave our members some really good insights on what's going on in the economic world right now in helping members navigate you know, this unpredictable year. It was really well received. It was recorded. And so if you did not have an opportunity to listen to the program live, uh, it is available on the ANCD member website on the members only area. If you have any problems getting into that area, just um, call the, the office and we'll be happy to help you. But there's some really great content there from ITR Economics that everyone should check out. And finally, uh, the AMC Annual Convention is coming up here quickly now. Uh, coming up November 14th to 16th. We're back at one of our most uh, popular places, the Broadmoor Hotel in Colorado Springs. Online registration is now open. I know we've been getting a lot of calls about people anxious to get registered and secure their hotel rooms at the hotel. And so I strongly encourage people to now do that. You need to register for the event uh, in order to get the housing link, which offers you some really great discounted rooms at a great hotel. We have um, nearly 80 suppliers already registered for tabletop booths. So if you are a supplier and you haven't secured your booth yet, you really should do that as soon as possible. Uh, because last year we did sell out our show floor. So you wanna make sure you do not get shut out. Uh, we've got a great programming lineup this year of speakers. In addition to you know some of our regulars from like ITR Economics, we've got some great people coming in to talk about marketing, technology, uh, leadership development. And so you can check out all the details on the website. Um, it's going to be a great program once again. AJ, what do you think? I know you're part of the planning committee for the convention. Um, what are you excited about for this fall? 
there's no better place for the NAFCD conference than at the Broadmoor Hotel. I think that it really draws people out to enjoy some uh, views that they don't typically get and enjoy just an absolutely fantastic conference space and a great facility for us to have our uh, uh, meetings at. I know a couple of the topics that I'm really excited about are, you know, kind of working uh, in teams and the, and the management training piece that we have, as well as a topic about AI. I mean, there's not really anything uh, in the news today that's I think is billing any higher than uh, AI and the threats and opportunities posed by AI. And I think that uh, educating our members on such a hot button and important topic is going to be a really big thing. I also think that, you know, being at the Broadmoor is always great because it's just such a wonderful place. Absolutely. Great. So let's shift to um, what's going on out there uh, for flooring distributors. Um, how have business conditions been for your firm, AJ, in the first half of the year? You know, flooring condition, business conditions for us through the first half of the year have been uh, better than expected. Uh, you know, we we tried to temper our expectations coming into 2023 based on the second half of 2022 being a little slower. Uh, our company benefits a little bit from being uh, uh, well diversified and being in the uh, commercial and multifamily as well as residential sectors. I think uh, everybody realized that residential replacement is a little bit slower right now than than it had been over the last couple of years, but. Um, I think that commercial and multifamily is just really picking up the pace uh, for those things and, and putting us in a position where our, our, our mix and our uh, out-the-door sales have been pretty good this year. So we're, we're optimistic about how things are, are right now and how they'll continue to go for the rest of the year. Very good. Well, I know, you know inflation is beginning to ease somewhat, um, although interest rates remain high, uh, much higher than people have been accustomed to in the last several years. ITR Economics is now officially forecasting a mild recession for 2024. How are these dynamics and forecasts expected to impact your business in you know the months ahead and going into next year? You know, obviously, I think in uh, a, a, a time period we're expecting some level of recession, it's going to make you a little bit more cautious in making uh, business decisions. But you know, our companies. Uh, really succeeded through COVID by uh, making sure that we're always in a position to succeed for our customers, no matter what the business conditions are. And I think that we'll continue to do that. Um, I, I do think that recession is something that, uh, you know, definitely uh, helps bring down inflation. Uh, I think we're already seeing that a little bit in the floor covering industry with prices uh, uh, falling to some extent. And I think that, um, you know, I, I, I believe that the pent up demand in the commercial space uh, with renovations going on to the extent that they are and institutional spending, I think it's going to continue to help power the flooring industry, even if the broader economy as a whole is uh, in recession. Got it. Well, I know you're an individual that spends a lot of your time out in the field with customers. Mm -hmm. What are they most concerned about? I think it, it depends on the category, you know, uh, Customers that are very heavily focused on residential replacement, they're uh, trying to take advantage of every customer that walks through the door and making sure that they're closing sales. Uh, customers in the commercial multifamily space, they're worried about supply chain. They're worried about making sure the material is going to be there when they need it. And I think that uh, that's one of the things that I can constantly talk about how good distribution is because distribution has stuff in stock better than uh, a lot of the alternatives that customers have to purchase material and can keep those customers in the multifamily and commercial uh, channels uh, stocked up and keep their installers installing. Understood, yeah. Now you're also a marketing guy. Uh, what kind of product trends are you seeing in your footprint? I think we're seeing uh, a lot of uh, uh, changes in the color dynamics uh, in the market uh, for us. You know, we're really seeing kind of grays cooling off uh, to uh, if you could ignore that pun there. Uh, and we're seeing a lot of colors uh, in the uh, kind of brown family kind of taking over a little bit. Uh, you know, yellows and sand type colors are, are coming up. And I'm really seeing a lot of uh, desaturated looks uh, start to really take hold. Uh, obviously, the mid-Atlantic is not uh, representative of the whole country. We kind of get uh, trends a little bit later than other people do, but um, it's been good uh, so far. And I think things are getting a little bit less uh, rustic in our markets, which 
um, you know, was a trend that was taking place a couple of years ago everywhere else, but uh, finally starting to take uh, hold in the mid-Atlantic for us as well. Okay. Well, I know the UFL Protection Act is causing headaches for those that import LVT. Mm -hmm. um, shipments are getting held up. Um, do you see relief coming in the near future? And what kind of solutions are distributors deploying to make sure they can take care of their customers? I think, uh, you know, the, the prudent distributor right now is uh, making sure they're keeping plenty of safety stock. Uh, you know, if you're typically keeping 60 or 90 days supply, maybe adding an extra 30 days supply to your inventory for delays uh, is a wise decision. Um, I, I think that there's a lot of misconceptions about the UFLPA and uh, the way that it affects everybody, because I think that it's affected some people a lot and a lot of people a little, um, if that makes sense, where highly compliant companies and companies that are focused on compliance are having less issues with uh, the supply chain related delays than than folks who uh, are are being caught up in in the UFLPA being caught flat footed. Got it. Always something out there, you know, dude. Yeah, it's very uh, challenged. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, appreciate all those insights. Uh, what yeah. you're seeing out there, um, other than the annual convention this fall, uh, what else excites you about the remainder of 2023? You know, I, uh, I I'm. I'm really excited to uh, kind of get into the end of summer, beginning of fall. That's uh, my favorite time of the year and uh, ready for football to be back on. And I got a couple of trips planned up coming here. And then ultimately, uh, you know, I know you said not the convention, but I am excited about the convention in November. Looking forward to seeing what uh, Colorado Springs brings for us. Sounds great. Looking forward yeah. to it and appreciate your time today. Yeah. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, AJ.